Now, today we are going to talk about first order kinetics and zero order kinetics. First order kinetics means where a constant fraction of a drug in the body is eliminated per unit time. Constant fraction of drug from the body is eliminated per unit time. That is first order kinetics. Okay, the rate of drug elimination is directly proportional to the plasma concentration of a drug. If we increase the plasma concentration, rate of drug elimination is also increases. If we decrease the plasma concentration, rate of drug el elimination is also decreased. That means rate of drug elimination is directly proportional to the plasma concentration of a drug. And why is it so? Because number of metabolizing enzymes are more than the drug administered. And that's why it is called as exponential kinetics. That's why it is called as exponential kinetics. That is first order kinetics. What happens in first order kinetics? Constant fraction of drug is eliminated per unit time. Constant fraction. And rate of drug elimination is directly proportional to the plasma concentration. And why is it so? Because number of metabolizing enzymes are more than the drug administered. If we administered 100 molecules of drug, then metabolizing number of metabolizing enzymes are more than 100. That means it is 120 or 150. If we administer 200 molecules of a drug, then number of metabolizing enzymes are more than 200. It may be 220 or 250 or 300. That means number of metabolizing enzymes are more than the drug administered that's why it is an exponential kinetics and in this case half-life of drug is remain constant clearance of drug is remain constant in the first order kinetics half-life of drug and clearance of drug is remain constant now we'll see zero order kinetics zero order kinetics constant amount of drug is eliminated from the body per unit time constant amount of drug in zero order kinetics constant amount of drug is eliminated per unit time the rate of drug elimination is indirectly proportional to the plasma concentration number of metabolizing enzymes are less than the drug administered and hence it is a saturation kinetics and here in zero order kinetics T half increases and clearance progressively decreases. Now, what is the difference between first order and zero order? In first order, constant fraction of drug is eliminated. In zero order, constant amount of drug is eliminated per unit time. In first order, rate of drug elimination is directly proportional. In zero order, it is indirectly proportional. Means whatever may be the plasma concentration of drug, rate of drug elimination remain constant in case of zero order kinetics. And why it is called as a saturation kinetics? Because number of metabolizing enzymes are less than the drug administered. That means if you have administered 100 molecules of drug, metabolizing enzymes are less than that. It may be 80, 90, 75 or 70 means number of metabolizing enzymes are less than the drug administered hence it is a saturation kinetics t half increases means when we say for a complete elimination of drug it needs four to five half lives but in case of zero order kinetics it may needed at 10 or more than that and clearance progressively decreases clearance progressively decreases here you can see it's a first order kinetics and zero order kinetics or here you can see the plasma concentration of a drug and rate of elimination of a drug in first order kinetics it is directly proportional means if you increase the dose of drug rate of elimination also increases so there is a straight line right straight line means in first order metabolism, if you increase the plasma concentration of drug, rate of elimination also increases. But in zero order metabolism or zero order kinetics, what happens if you increase the dose? Rate of elimination remain constant. Rate of elimination of a drug will remain constant. Means whatever may be the plasma concentration of drug, 
constant amount of drug is eliminated from the body and what will happen if constant amount of drug is eliminated from the body that means plasma half life of a drug increases clearance of drug decreases that means drug is going to accumulate inside the body and it will cause toxicity and that is the main difference between first order kinetics and zero order kinetics in the first order kinetics most of the drugs follows first order kinetics and only few drugs like warfarin theophylline phenytoin these are the drugs which follows zero order kinetics